Hey everybody, welcome to Active Self Protection Extra. We're here at C2 Tactical like we are a lot. I get a ton of people that ask me about these ears. Now generally they're asking me about the kitty ears on them, but today I wanna to talk to you and do a gear review for you for these MSA Swordants. Big Tech's Outdoors has holsters, accessories, optics, and other parts that you need as a self-defender. I'm one of his customers and I recommend him highly. Check out the page on our website with our favorite deals. Straight up, these are my favorite ear protection of all time. And I get it, everybody wants to talk about the kitty ears and ask, why the kitty ears? The kitty ears are just because I'm having fun on the range, okay? This is a reminder to me to not take life so seriously and to have a good time. But I want to talk about the actual hearing protection. I did a review on these like three years ago, two and a half years ago or so on this channel, um, and but that was way back when. So I want to talk about these and once again say thank you to Big Tex Outdoors for uh, sponsoring these gear reviews. And, and listen, go and patronize his business, would you? And Ike and his wife are great people. The people that work at Big Tex are amazing. They ship fast. I buy all kinds of stuff there. Please go buy their, uh, their stuff, guys. I want to talk about these swords. A couple things. Number one, I want to talk about the gel cups, okay? So these gel cups, you can get those for a lot of different uh, hearing protection uh, for a lot of different companies. But whatever hearing protection you use, toss those foam things and put these gel cups on because they make it so much more comfortable and you get a better seal, especially around things like eye protection. A couple things I like about these swords. Number one, when I put them on, I still get great hearing around me because of the electronic amplification. So I get good hearing of everything that's going on around me. Now, the thing that you'll notice about these swords is you'll see me, I have shot with these guys. These are my go-to on the range for years, okay? And I don't have any relationship with uh, this company. In fact, I don't even know how to contact them, quite frankly. Um, the battery life on them is really good. They auto shut off after four hours, you turn them back on real easy. And I mean, a set of uh, AAA batteries lasts months and I'm on the range all the time. Biggest thing, if you go and research these, they're gonna show up with a noise reduction rating, an NRR of 18 decibels. And a lot of people go, wait a minute, that's not nearly enough, you want 25. But that NRR 18 is absolutely, completely misleading to you, okay? So what they did when they did the NRR is that's across all the spectrum of hearing. So across the entire spectrum of human hearing, the lowest that it attenuates is 18 decibels. However, if you go look in this, the frequency range of handgun bullets and rifle bullets, it's between 33 and 35 decibels. So actually to, to suppress the gunshot noise, these are fantastic suppression of gunshot noises. 33 and 35 decibels in those ranges, somewhere in that ballpark. And as low as 18 in other ranges, but when somebody lights off a bullet, when somebody sends a cartridge you know, off and sends a bullet down range, these things dampen them excellently. So even if I'm shooting here indoors, the swords mean I don't have to double up. If I'm wearing cheaper ear pro, straight up, I gotta put some foamies in and then double up with some around the ear ear pro. But with these swords, I don't have to do that. Now you can get them with this over top here. And I bought these, if you really want kitty ears, I bought these at, at Weapons Outfitters and I think they were like 30 bucks because they're fun. Um, don't have to do that. They also make them behind the head. You'll see me occasionally, I have a backup pair that's got a behind the head that goes under a helmet. But these guys, now the problem with these is they're crazy money, okay? So this ear set, I think I bought on Amazon when they were on sale for like 230 bucks. Um, regular price, they're like 300, but you can find them on sale for like 230 uh, without too much worry. Now you might say, gosh, John, that's a crazy amount of money. And I can't argue with you. It's a crazy amount of money. So you go, wait, do my Howard lights work just as well? Or my Peltors or those things. They, they, you know, for the money they might, you may not be able to spend that kind of money, but if you have a little bit of extra, you know, uh, I really think this is a good investment and can really help you. I recommend them highly.